So it's a slightly miserly but still pretty warm uh, July morning here in Hampshire. Um, pretty good conditions I'd say for getting out for the rut. Well I'm happy with it to be honest, like you say the temperature's quite key. Um, it's humid and it was even a bit thundery in the night so with perfect rut conditions and, and as I saw last week even in the rain if the temperature was right they were still out so uh, we're going to sneak up this ride get up a seat and uh, I've got a very strong book that operates all along this valley and I've got two eye seats we're going to start with the first one first and see if we can call him in. So that's a three month old kid, one of this year's. You can see the size that it's put on its body already. Perfect conditions out here for growing big deer. Now she's grazing, she's gonna be looking for a mother at the moment. So she should respond well to a call. But we're just going to let her walk on and then stalk around her. The wind is favorable, it's in our face, so hopefully we won't spook her. typically give birth to twins and here they both are together feeding probably around three months old as you can see they're still very relaxed and not concerned by our presence their mother will be in and around here somewhere but fabulous to see Oh my lord. Oh. Holy mackerel. Nah, he's absolutely beautiful. But he's got a bit of a backstory as well, hasn't he? Yep, well, we've known of him for two or three years. I tried for him last year and um, we saw him. He's been very elusive in the spring. He's an old book. Yeah. Look how heavy his coronets are. Beautiful pearling, beautiful colour, white tips. Couldn't be a, a nicer trophy for you there. And it was a textbook hunt as well. <laughs> it went exactly as you said it would. Walk up through here. There's a tree downed. He's going to be in and around there. We'll sit in the high seat, see if we can call him in. Almost on cue, doe skips out. And we know, as soon as the doe's there, yeah. he's not going to be too far behind. Yeah. Now, he just came out of the shadows 
just for a split second. Had a look, didn't he? Had a look, walked around yeah. and only had a shot. Next shot from the back, obviously, you know, at this distance, which is what, 60, 65 yards, something like that. Uh, pretty much bread and butter stuff. And the 308 did its business. But he was just hesitated for a second when he barks. Yeah, well. Now, why would that be? Well, you know, it's, it's all right trying to call a book, but when he's with a doe and, and it's the middle of the rut, you know, he's got one thing on his mind and he's got it right in front of him. Yeah. So um, the call's pretty useless for him then. The doe came because she thought I was another doe calling mm. and she didn't want him to go to a book. So she didn't like what we were doing and she snuck off, didn't she? But didn't hang around. Did, I did say, hang on, the book might come out. And mm. then out he came and he was going to just start running there. So I just did a couple of barks to stop him to think he was another book. And uh, he did. And you had one chance only and you took it. And uh, well, nice clean carcass on the next shot. Um, no meat damage. We like that. 80 metres. So. Um, didn't expect anything less from you. Uh, well, thank you very much. An amazing hunt. Well done.